lot of the nitrogen that we don't want to see comes from non-point sources. Sewers, street drainage, things that go right directly into the bay. It's all the water that's coming into this bay for Barnegat Bay, and it's the Toms River, it's the Matitaconk, it's all these rivers that are draining in. And people in Jackson, by the amusement park, don't realize that the fertilizer on their lawn is running into the bay and is causing problems for clams and oysters, for these shellfish that we're talking about. It's the, the major housing developments that come to the shore, and people are abusing tremendous amounts of fertilizer on their lawns. Uh, the whole western side of the county have these very beautiful homes up there, and those people don't care about the environment. They want to see a green lawn and they're putting it on at excessive rates. It, the ground can't absorb it, and it goes down right into the bay, and there's no question in neutrifying the bay. So there's a need to really control that. We have to make sure that we don't have excess nitrogen. And you do when you plant trees, shrubs, flowers that are not native. They need extra help, extra care. So the school is right next to the bay, so I thought native plants would be perfect because if we use fertilizers and like other products that aren't good, it could run off into the bay, which can poison our environment. If you go to Nantucket, you don't find anybody out there with a lawnmower or spreading fertilizer because they can't do it. And I think that model is going to be important, you know, when we look at Barnegat Bay. Technically, there's no reason to put fertilizer on lawn. 